Hello guys. Uh, the end of a very, very hot week. Many have heard of the heat wave, if not experienced it. Uh, a bit better today, but anyway, the big thing today was uh, a visit from a viewer of my channel, Jim Bridges. And uh, we met up last evening for uh, uh, supper and a good chat. And uh, he's been with me. When did we start? Well, we had lunch together, then he came over here, and uh, we spent most of the afternoon in here and my office basically BSing about anything you can think of, almost. <laughs> he brought me a very nice gift, which I'll show you. And I think there's a very short bit of footage of the two of us just having a chat over the lathe area. And beyond that, just a few odds and ends. Nothing all that important, just uh, small bits and pieces. One thing that I modified, and uh, uh, an EL32 C5 holder that I got very reasonably. I think that was about all. Anyway, it's just odds and ends prior to me getting on to the next project, whenever that might be. So, uh, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye. <laughs> Smiling on candy camera. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, guys. This is Jim Bridges from Arkansas. Yeah, hello there. Hello. Fire Hollywood, Maryland. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Down here visiting old Chris. Yeah, and he's wearing the right t-shirt. Look at it here, see there? <laughs> so it's a nice day, we've lost the humidity and we're just having a ball talking about just about everything. Anything and everything. Yes. I'm, that was an early thing I made. That's actually just fits in. Yes. And even then there's not enough space. Not enough space, never. <laughs> Mandrels. The things you make for a job and never use again. Never but use again. Uh, but I, I know about that. But that space was so ideal to use, you know. I have a toolbox. I put a toolbox in mine. Well, here's a nice gift that uh, Jim brought me today. This little box. With, uh, let me see, I can get this in. <laughs> I can't get in the position. He's actually put in there for me two lots of spacer blocks. Ever so nice. And most of these are, let me check, most of these are eighth, and then there's a 316 held together with a cap screw. Two lots. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you, Jim. That was a very pleasant surprise. And the box is all fitted out with foam, plus his card. He still does a lot, he's a machinist, he does a lot of work on vehicle stuff and has a very interesting history both in the military and uh, other things. But I thought that was a very nice gift. Very nice, quite a surprise. Thank you Jim. That's brilliant. This is just a small update on my uh, Straddle Nurla. Recently you may have seen me put a hex on here. Uh, but the other thing that I just had to do was to change the way this mounts in the tool post because what I had before, the way I'd made it, that edge there would come up against the front of the uh, tool holder and put the knurler far too close to the centre line with very little uh, movement left on the cross slide. So what I did was I found in the scrap box a piece of 3 8 plate which is about uh, it's two and a half inches long and about an inch and a quarter this way. So from you won't see that from 
I just put a TIG weld both sides. Um, not the prettiest weld in terms of uniformity, but it does the job. So again, from another angle, just to show the distance we've gained, that rear face there used to be contacting the front of the tool holder. As I said, we've gained nearly an inch and a half, which is uh, extremely useful. Well, here's another import. Uh, C5 to uh, ER32 and I got this from Banggood but I bought it so I'm not promoting a freebie but it was I uh, think about 25 26 bucks which seemed incredible value and the uh, collets themselves are imports but I did check this on the uh, collet chuck and the run out was really pretty minor. It was there, there was a bit of run out, but uh, to cope with that all I need to do if the job's really important is to uh, reset the chuck, just make a small adjustment. I've got a means of adjusting the uh, chuck centering by a small amount. But I thought for what 25 bucks or not much more, it's pretty remarkable. I couldn't make that for that sort of money. So not bad. Imports uh, still worth considering some of the time. I'm talking about uh, collar chucks. I've at last got round to uh, modifying this one. I've got my uh, pin in. Anybody who remembers my reverse rotation safety device because we're threaded on the spindle and I hadn't made this for the uh, this particular chuck. Very very critical because the distance from center to that and my aluminum piece which I'll uh, show you to remind you. So this is the piece we made to go on the end of the spindle quite critical to get the dimensions right both for the uh, distance here and getting it centered so that engages without any particular slack and for those who never saw the uh, videos for that project the whole purpose is not to necessarily totally lock up the chuck if it goes in reverse although it does at the moment but to at least prevent any dangerous unscrewing. But thus far it works pretty well. <laughs> 